Hello again and welcome back to the card mat. Yeah, another mystery unboxing. Yeah, I've chanced my arm again. Um, yeah, you might have seen the last review I've done on them ones, which mm, not very popular, not very popular judging by the reviews. No, but I've chanced my arm again. I've got another two decks in here. So I'll open this up. Again, they've come from Merchants of Magic. So I'll open these up and I will pick one of the boxes and we will do a quick review on that. I'll have to get the hoover in now, I'll put some sticky tape on the floor. Get my hand in there and oh, just rag that off. There's one and there's two. Right, as you can see they are mystery boxes so I've got no idea what's in either one. Um, eeny meeny miny mo. That one, why not? We'll do that one another day. I'll just go through one. So I won't I won't tease you letting you see what the other one is. Now it's anything like the last time I got a decent deck and I got a not so decent deck. Hmm. So we'll see what these are first. Hopefully I've got two decent decks this time. I'll just put them down here when I get this slip of paper out and we'll have a little read. Right, Merchants of Magic. Uh, limited edition, only 1,900 printed, will not be printed again. Mm -hmm. and it's perfect for both cardistry and magic. It's printed by the United States Playing Card Company. Soft crushed stock, limited edition, only 1,900 made. Right, And this is what they are. Superfly, Superfly, and that's basically what it says all the way around it, Superfly, by Gemini. Right, let's see if I do any better opening these ones up. Oh, look at that, oh, there's a good start. I've actually opened the deck of cards properly, I don't believe it. Wow, glad I got that on video. Rip open through the truck thing. As you can see, it's all green and white diamonds. By the looks of this, I'm hoping that it's not that it's actually a borderless deck. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um well we don't know yet. That is uh, are they the jokers? They must be the jokers. Yeah, so it's not going to be borderless. Got Superfly written on the back on both with green and white. Oh, they smell minty as well. Ah, I'm only kidding. The green and white chevrons or diamonds. Yeah, diamonds is a better word, I suppose. Um, you're getting a, a blank. That's nice to get. Have you got another? No. So you're getting a blank and two identical jokers although they don't say joker on them but you get it oh they're not identical no they're not identical just got onto that the red line and the dots are in different places on them but other than that they're identical hmm might be able to do something with them i don't know and as i say a blank there's the backs Pretty nice, not in your face like any of the others that have done, so it's not a bad start. Um, they're in new deck order. Yeah, they're all in new new deck order, which is nice. Oh, look at that! You are getting an extra card. You're getting a spare king of Di king of clubs. Yeah, you got a spare king of clubs with it, which is always nice. You got a duplicate card. Uh, the Ace of Spades, done in black and white diamonds with Superfly written across the front. And I can't even with me, got manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company, um, made in the USA, distributed by Gemini Aces. Something, 
something. Struggling to read, that, that writing's very, very small. I don't know if you can read that little writing. I don't know if that's blurred or not. That's what the little writing says, anyway, on the Ace of Spades. Um, normal pips, standard faces. They do seem to be a bit higher up than a normal one. There's not as much gap above the top. But standard. Jack of Spades done in a red. With Superfly written on his hat. My Little Lady. So there's, there's your standard face card. So that's very nice. A nice big pip on the diamond. Yeah, the Ace of Diamonds, sorry. As again, pips are all standard notation. Red again, only So well, it looks like all the picture cards are going to be the same. Red and black with green on the hat and green diamonds somewhere on them. I say in duplicate king of clubs. I'm just checking it out to make sure he is exactly the same. And yes, he is. Complete duplicate, which is very nice. Big pip again on the club. And a big pip again on the heart. Well, it had to be, didn't it? Because the others were. Did you feel nice? Nice sharp edge to them. Whether you're an up here or a down here on the faro. Well, the faro, pretty nice. Try again. See if we can go from the bottom on this one. Yeah, the faro front here, top and bottom, which is cool. One handed, a uh, one handed fan. The fan pretty nice. Yeah. Spread. Yeah. I say they're not not borderless, so things like a second deal and that they're not ideal because you will see it coming out. But they sound nice. I'll try and do a better one than that. I'm too far away. Nice good stock. Did, did you feel a bit, bit on the thin side? But I can handle that. On the whole, very nice deck. Quite happy with them. Yeah, very nice. I'm not going to do any fancy stuff because I don't really do fancy stuff. See what I mean? I don't do fancy stuff. But uh, yeah, you handle pretty nice. It's a nice simple design. I say standard notation pips. So it's nice, nice deck. It's not an in your face one where you're going, oh, where's my sunglasses? Very nice. I don't see why they say to go for cardistry because normally with cardistry you do something like that and it looks spectacular. You, know, you get something nice out of it. But that just looks like a normal, normal fan, basically. Not giving any kind of a pattern out. Don't know what it would be like with a, a jumbo one, but I can't do the jumbo ones. You all know that. But we'll try and do a jumbo one on the... And do a jumbo one on the table. See what it looks like. Still haven't got the right amount of cards. So these feel these do feel a bit thinner. I can't even judge whether I've got half of the packet or not. Let's see. They're a nice little. I'm just trying to do a, a big jumbo fan. See, they don't look anything special for cardistry. But they do say they are for cardistry. But again, a pretty nice deck. On the whole, I'd have to give these about a 9 out of a 10. They handle... They do handle nice. Although I can't handle cards. You know what I'm like with cards. I drop them everywhere. But they're pretty nice. So anyway, that is Superfly. Very nice deck. Glad I got them ones in it. Blank and a spare card. 
and two jokers which hmm anybody got any ideas what you could do with the jokers that look like that i'll turn them that way so you can see them you can be able to see the difference between them then but there we go quite a nice deck quite happy with them thank you very much what am i thanking them for i had to pay for them anyway i hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon Thank mm -hmm. you.